We're just going to go through quickly uh, in a few minutes. If you're looking for guest posting opportunities in your niche, how to use the Link Prospector to find exactly what you're looking for. So you'll begin on your campaign screen. Uh, you'll want to create a new campaign. This one I've called Cosmetics. So uh, we're pretending that we're working for a company in the cosmetics industry that does wants to do some guest posts around different cosmetics, makeup styles, um, et cetera, and, and to get the word out about their line of cosmetics. Uh, once you've created the campaign, the next thing you want to do is navigate over to exclusions. As soon as you create a campaign, there will be a new, a new line in your exclusions folder, so you'll be able to create, you'll, you'll be able to put in exclusions for your specific campaign. Um, you'll see first we have global exclusions, and those are exclusions for every single campaign. That stuff, exclusions are just domains that you do not want to appear in your results. It's a great way to eliminate those results that appear all the time, such as Amazon, Facebook. You're pretty much never going to reach out to Facebook and ask them for a guest post opportunity. So this prevents you from wasting time later. And, that, uh, that, and, and that's great, Megan, because it then means the quality of the results you get are then so much better. So I think that's a great point, very exactly. worthwhile doing. Exactly. And then for your individual campaign, because you might have all sorts of campaigns running for different clients so or different opportunities or different camp different marketing campaigns that for each individual link prospector campaign, you can add exclusions, websites that you don't want to see in the results of that particular campaign. So because we're doing cosmetics, we're going to put in some of our competitors, maybe Mac, maybe Sephora, maybe Ulta, because even though they might be blogging about cosmetics, if they're a competitor of our imaginary cosmetics company, then we just don't want to waste our time seeing them in the results. Uh, make sure to save it and then you'll have your list of exclusions already. Then you'll navigate back over to campaigns and you'll select, you'll create a report type. Uh, you'll want to click on guest posting, since you're guest posting, and name the report type for what you're going to do. With guest posting, you don't really have to mess around too much with the advanced options, especially if you're in the United States prospecting in English. Uh, we may do some other videos about if you're outside of the US or prospecting in languages other than English, but for this, we're just gonna say, keep it simple. The only big change I would make is to change the date range to the past year as opposed to any time, because with blogs, there's de there's definitely a freshness that you want to keep with your opportunities. Having finding a blog from 2011 or 2012 that's the last time they updated. Eh, they 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 might not be around anymore, and they're probably not worth your time. Um, I think I think that's a, another great point, Megan. And what you're doing mm -hmm. is you're you're saving people time, and um, you're allowing the two to bring them back the best results possible. So that's a great tip. Yeah, exactly. And and that's what the tool is really designed for is, is to find you the, you know, is to narrow down the results into what you're looking for. Um, so when you're creating your research phrases, a lot of times novice or first time beginner users will use their SEO keywords, research phrases such as cosmetics, makeup, makeup tutorial. Uh, these are kind of just exactly what you'd think of if you were thinking of uh, searching for blogs around cosmetics. However, I want to suggest another way of searching for guest post bloggers that's getting a lot more specific into the audience that you're actually looking for and, and trying to think about these uh, people, these men and women who are talking about makeup, what are the kinds of posts they've already written? Because this is how you're going to find the people who are actually passionate and not just trying to rank for certain keywords. So eyeliner tutorial, uh, we're using advanced operators in title eyeliner, in title how to, which you can use any advanced operator uh, that's available on a search engine within the link prospector. We're doing in title eyeliner tutorial we're then just doing some phrases in quotes that we think bloggers who may be interested in talking about makeup have probably used, such as how to choose eyeliner or how to apply eyeliner. You I, can I do think, this. Yeah, I think that's another really good point that you're making that, um, you know, rather than the generic uh, terms that we saw there, like cosmetic, mm -hmm. to getting into something as specific as in title eyeliner tutorial. Uh, that, that that's great, Megan, because I, th I think 
um, you'll see some great results with that. Yeah, exactly. And I'm not saying that not to try the broader terms, especially in some industries. And cosmetics is a huge industry, so you might need to get more specific. But with, with smaller industries, you might need to go more broad. So it, it really is about some trial and error. But I, I do see a lot of users who aren't getting specific enough, and I think they're missing out on some passionate people that they could be partnering with. So really not, to, we, oh. we definitely don't want to miss out on passionate oh. people because those are the ones that are most likely. To those give us are the links. people we want. Yeah, great. I'd also recommend trying a couple searches for just blogs. So if you're doing a search for blogs, it's not guaranteed that they're all looking for guest posters. But I think a lot of times, even people who don't have pages dedicated to guest posting or who don't advertise that they're available for guest posting might, if you approach them correctly with the right topic, with the right opportunity, with the right relationship, be open to a guest post. And that will open up your search even more. I think um, that's another great point, Megan, that you're making um, to try different types yeah. of uh, prospects. And, you, you know, there's there's no one way of doing this right. In, in, in fact, uh, and I know one of the things you do, you take time and mm -hmm. you, you go through results and try things and see what works. And it, it takes a little bit of time to get it to, oh, what, right, yeah, I've got a rich vein of prospects here. Exactly. And so that's what we're coming to right now is the results that we got when we did the eyeliner tutorial search. As you can see, we still are getting some, we got YouTube in there, even though we don't really want YouTube. So we still get a little bit of things that we definitely don't want. But as you can also see, we've got quite a few clearly related to makeup and beauty and fashion blogs and online magazines that we can potentially reach out to. Um, this particular one that we selected called Oddly Lovely, the way that you can select within the link prospector next to each line item and next to each domain, you'll see a plus sign with a number. That means how many opportunities on that domain we found that could possibly match. So you just click that and then you'll be able to click on the unique opportunities uh, on that blog or on that domain that we think apply to your search. So with this young woman, Oddly Lovely, she's a great example of, of exactly what someone doing what we were doing with the cosmetics guest posting search may be looking for. Because if you mm -hmm. just look at the comments it's got gosh yeah you know, 25 comments That's 25 great. comments and you you can see they're not machine comments they're real comments right. so this woman loves a, a conversation i love that she talks about so many different things like there's you know pretty much so many people could find something to connect with about her because she really does blog about a lot uh, but that leaves her open to you know it, different integrations with a lot of different brands, I bet. So she, she's actually, as from a blogger's perspective, she, she's done a great job there as well. Um, but, you know, with a link prospector, you're going to find bloggers like this who are more general, and you're going to find bloggers who are very specific, who talk only about makeup or maybe only about lipstick. And that's great too. So it's, it's really your search terms, your research phrases define how broad or how narrow you get, and they help you, they help you find an incredible number of, of blogs that you may never have discovered. And she's, like I said, that's someone that maybe you wouldn't have found if you're searching for the more generic SEO keywords because she's not trying, she might not mention cosmetics. She might not be trying to rank for, you know, cosmetics or makeup, but because she's mentioned literally how to choose eyeliner or how to choose lipstick, that's how we found this great opportunity. When you're reaching out to her, if I were reaching out to her, I would try to look beyond just, oh, I see that you've done a post on lipstick and that you take guest posts. So I was wondering if I could write for you. I, I would really want to get more personal with her. Um, so I can see that she has a, a blog post about introverts and that, you know, I'm a good introvert. I love talking about introversion. So I might mention that or I might mention some of the recipes she created. She seems like an interesting enough blogger that I'd want to take out 10 to 15 minutes to build a, an email pitch or, you know, an introduction that introduces myself and explains why I think we should work together. And I think going back to the beginning of this video, that's what differentiates the kind of guest blogging Google doesn't like from the kind of guest blogging that can actually be a really good benefit for your brand. Well, I, th I think that that's a great point to, to, to finish on. So yeah, thank you. And um, if people have any questions, feel free to email me, Megan at citationlabs.com or Ken at citationlabs.com and, and we'd be happy to point you in the right direction.